Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for May 17th, 2024, from the book of 1 Timothy, Rooted Leadership, Avoiding Spiritual Pride. Previously, we heard Paul's emphasis on the overseer's ability to effectively manage his household, which underscores the importance of dignity and respect within the family unit as well as a correlation between household management and church leadership. By highlighting the connection between these two realms, Paul suggests that a leader's proficiency in managing his own family serves as a foundation for caring for the larger family of God's church. Additionally, while having children is not a requirement for pastoral ministry, the church should recognize the significance of supporting pastors in balancing their family responsibilities with their ministry commitment, thereby contributing to the well-being of both the pastor and the entire church community. So let's continue with the book of 1 Timothy. From 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 6. He must not be a recent convert, or he may become puffed up with conceit and fall into the condemnation of the devil. Now here in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 6, Paul advises that a potential overseer should not be a recent convert. Now this cautionary instruction stems from the risk that a newly converted individual may become prideful or conceited due to their sudden elevation to a position of authority within the church. Such arrogance can lead to the individual falling into the same condemnation as the devil, highlighting the seriousness of the spiritual pitfalls associated with unchecked pride. Essentially, Paul urges a balance of spiritual maturity and humility to those who aspire to church leadership roles within the church, emphasizing the importance of a steady and grounded Christian foundation. There is a beautiful connection of this verse with a parable of the sower that Jesus taught. We can draw parallels between the overseer, who must not be a recent convert, and the plant that grew up quickly but had no root. Just as the seeds that fell on the rocky ground sprouted quickly in the parable, but they lacked the depth of soil for sustained growth, a recent convert elevated to a leadership position may also have that initial enthusiasm, but lack the spiritual maturity necessary with, for long-term stability. Without that strong root, In God's word and sacraments, the individual who would become an overseer has shallow roots and then is susceptible to withering by the external pressures or falling into the condemnation of pride. Therefore, just as Jesus emphasized the importance of nurturing a deep-rooted faith in God's word for enduring spiritual growth, Paul warns against prematurely entrusting leadership responsibilities to those who may not yet have developed a solid foundation in their newfound faith. Though the church faces ongoing challenges in nurturing capable leaders, it is imperative for the church not to diminish the significance of Paul's instructions here, which are aimed at safeguarding the community of believers. The initial strife and misconduct within Christian communities serves as a vivid reminder of church during Paul's time and the church during our time. We see this occurring even today. So the church needs to continue to hear and cherish Paul's warnings. And for all, not only leaders, but also the people in the pews, to be grounded in God's word and sacrament, because it is through Christ we draw our strength. 
God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.